This is Calgary, Alberta. Serving a population of 1.3 million people, a network of light rail and transitways connects this Canadian city, servicing 45 stations and 9 transitway stops. Consisting of 5 lines and just over 60 kilometers of track, the system travels around Calgary, with trains and buses radiating from downtown to the suburbs. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. The original line of the Calgary LRT opened in May 1981, running from the south end to downtown Calgary. Servicing 16 stops, the line ran in a dedicated right-of-way from Anderson into downtown, running along the downtown transit mall to 8th Street West. Four years later, in April 1985, a second line of the C-Train network opened, running from the northeast quadrant of the city into downtown. Starting from a new station at 10th Street West, the line shared the downtown transit mall to 2nd Street East, before branching off to service eight new stations to Whitehorn. At the same time, the red line was also extended one stop west along the downtown transit mall to 10th Street West, sharing its terminus with a newly opened blue line. On the red line, 42nd Avenue Station was renamed to 39th Avenue in late 1986, better reflecting the location of the station. September 1987 saw the extension of the red line to the northwest quadrant of the city, servicing five new stations to the University of Calgary. With this change, red line trains no longer service the downtown transit mall station at 10th Street West, with only blue line trains continuing to end at the stop. On the downtown transit mall, Two more stations were renamed in late 1987. First Street East was renamed to Olympic Plaza, while Second Street East was renamed to City Hall. Two more station renamings were undertaken three years later in May 1990, with two stations on the red line being renamed to reflect their location near the Calgary Stampede grounds. Stampede Station was renamed to Victoria Park Stampede, while Earlton Station was renamed to Earlton Stampede. Three months later in August, an additional one-stop extension of the red line opened, bringing the northwest branch of the line to Brentwood. Six years after the last change, Calgary experimented with commuter rail operations, beginning a five-month pilot in April 1996. Running south from Anderson Station along the existing CP rail tracks, the line ran every 20 minutes during rush hours to a temporary platform at 162nd Avenue. Using a diesel multiple unit train, the line proved popular and led to the fast-tracking of a future LRT expansion along the corridor. While the pilot ultimately ended as planned in August of that year, the red line was later extended two stations south along the alignment, bringing trains to Fish Creek Lacombe in October 2001. Two years later, in December 2003, another one-stop extension on the opposite end of the red line brought service to Dalhousie. Finally, the red line reached its present southern terminus in June 2004 with two new stops added to Somerset Brattlewood. A seven-year-long program to refurbish the downtown transit mall began later that month, rebuilding all the stations along the corridor to accommodate four-car trains. First Street Station was the first to be relocated, moving one block east along the transit mall in October 2005. Two years later, in December 2007, a one-stop extension of the Blue Line brought service to McKnight Westwinds, the first extension of the line since its opening. The downtown transit mall refurbishment continued into April 2008, with the closing of 6th Street Station for the platform reconstruction. The neighboring 7th Street Station was relocated the following year in February 2009, followed one month later by the reopening of 6th Street, and the following month by the closure of 3rd Street Station. In June, another one-stop extension of the red line opened, bringing the line further northwest to Crowfoot. Six months later in December, 8th Street Station was reconstructed, relocating one block east. Refurbishment of the downtown transit mall continued into 2010, with the closure of 4th Street Station in January. However, the station at 3rd Street in the eastbound direction was reopened shortly afterwards in March. In the east end of downtown, stations at 3rd Street East and City Hall were closed in May to allow for the construction of a bi-directional station. 4th Street Station was reopened in January 2011, having been rebuilt in its original location. Six months later in July, a bi-directional station at City Hall was opened, replacing the station at Olympic Plaza. A two-stop extension of the northeast branch of the Blue Line opened in August 2012, 
being serviced to its present terminus at Saddletown. A couple of weeks later in September, the final station on the downtown transit mall at 10th Street West closed for revitalization, reopening four months later in December under the new name of Downtown West Kirby. At the same time, a six-stop westward extension of the Blue Line was inaugurated, extending service from the newly built station to 69th Street. The final extension of the northwest branch of the Red Line opened in August 2014, bringing service to its present terminus at Tuscany. Four years later, in November 2018, Calgary launched MAX, its branded bus rapid transit service. As part of the system's Purple Line, a new transitway opened along 17th Avenue, servicing the route running to and from downtown. The transitway consisted of median bus lanes and stations at the four eastmost stops, as well as a dedicated transit roadway serving the two western stops. Four months later in February, the Red Line station at Sade ACAD Jubilee was renamed following the rebranding of the Alberta College of Art and Design, now being known as Sade AU Arts Jubilee. MAX was expanded later that year, with the opening of the Southwest Transitway in December 2019. The dedicated transit roadway serviced three new stations for the MAX Yellow, two of which were also shared with the MAX Teal route. This brings us to the C train map that we know today. In the years to come, C-Train service in Calgary is expected to expand, with construction underway on a third light rail line. Running south from downtown, the new green line will travel to the southeast quadrant of the city, including four stations in an underground subway. The 13-stop green line is projected to open by 2030, running from Eau Claire Station to Shepherd, and interchanging with the red and blue lines downtown at 7th Avenue Station. That was the evolution of Calgary C-Train and MAX network, giving us the two light rail lines and two transit ways that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our evolution of the network videos on other Canadian cities, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground, until the next one.